after my first 12 months of being um, stationed at Townsville, Somalia had, had, had kicked off, and that was the, um, the UN's, United Nations, uh, contribution to Somalia um, and the American-led Operation Restore Hope. So it was an area that was basically corroded with, with chaos. Um, the government, there was no law, um, and we were uh, um, tasked to sort of re-establish law and order um, and provide humanitarian aid and relief to, to that area, um, which was exciting, you know, like, again, it's finally, you know, it's like you've done your apprenticeship and then you finally get to work on your first car as a mechanic and, and away you go. So we were sort of, you know, there, there was a lot of excitement over there. We did about, I think it was about a month um, preparation before we deployed and that was more along, um, you know, again, they, they do it really well these days, but we were like, you know, post-Vietnam, we were probably the, the biggest deployment um, at that stage. So we really had to sort of focus on, you know, where we were going, the cultures, uh, the people, um, the environment, you know, and I think we learned a lot from the old um, Iraqi war where we had that Bravo 20 patrol where, um, you know, they're in the desert, but you see them at night time and they're rugged up with jumpers and it was sub-zero temperatures at night time. Um, so, you know, we're sort of preparing for, for everything. Um, and, and, you know, and suddenly we, I remember one of the, the greatest things too was we were sent over there by Qantas on a plane, so we were deployed. We deployed two ships. Uh, I think it was a Jervis Bay, a HMS Jervis Bay, and, and the Tobruk. Um, and we deployed a lot of the military personnel via aircraft. And it was Qantas because I remember the stewardess as we we're leaving the the ship at Mogadishu, and uh, oh, sorry, the plane at Mogadishu, and she was thanking everyone and saying, you know, enjoy your trip. Hope you have a great trip and everything. And someone said, you understand that we're actually deployed to a combat zone here. It's not a holiday. And, and I remember her face just changing, and then she ran down the stairwell and she wanted to you know, hug and say sorry to everyone that she'd already sh shook the hand, because uh, she realised that, yeah, some of us may not be coming back from from here. Um, and our, yeah, we walked down the, the gangplank, um, stood on the airfield at Mogadishu, and then they opened fire at us. So there was a, a couple of towers and they just started um, uh, unloading, you know, it would have been, you know, AK-47, 7.62 um, ammunition at us. But it, it came and there was a couple of hundred soldiers on the ground with no weapons. They were all still under the, the plane, so we all sort of scattered and that was our introduction to, to the environment that we were uh, about to uh, enter. <laughs>